Hey guys, I'm Perry Nemroff and I'm the content development editor over at Collider.com. This year has been a pretty big year for us for a number of reasons and a big one of which is that we joined forces with the fine folks at Movie Talk. So we wanted to take a brief moment to introduce you to everybody on the .com team and to celebrate our favorite films of 2015. So here we go. I'm Adam Chitwood, news editor of Collider.com, and my favorite film of 2015 is Sicario. It's a masterfully crafted thriller with phenomenal performances, stunning cinematography by Roger Deakins, of course, and thematic resonance for days. Whether you view it as a film about gender roles, U.S. foreign policy, or just a straight-up drug war thriller, it's equally effective and emotionally impactful. You saw things you shouldn't have seen. Rocks from the a measure of order that we could control. I'm gonna tell everyone what you did. Hi, I'm Dave Trumbor, associate editor for Collider.com. My favorite movie of 2015 was Mad Max Fury Road for three reasons. One, it's George Miller's first Mad Max film in 30 years. Two, it features Charlize Theron as the most kick-ass heroine this side of the apocalypse. And three, it's hands down the most insane, ambitious, and entertaining movie you'll watch again and again this year. I am awaiting. I am awaiting in Valhalla! Hey guys, Haley Fouch here. I'm an associate editor at Collider, and my favorite movie of 2015 is Ex Machina. Because it's a fearlessly adult sci-fi mind trip, because it got so unshakably into my head and under my skin, and of course, because dancing Oscar Isaac makes everything great. I'm Brian Forma and I'm the community manager and social editor at Collider.com. My favorite movie of the year is Carol. Because not only is every element of the movie superb, the acting, the score, the production design, the costumes, the cinematography, but I love how director Todd Haynes conveys the relationship through physical spacing and nonverbal communication. He lets us watch two people fall in love rather than telling us they're falling in love. Would you like to come visit me this Sunday? Yes. What a strange girl you are. Why? Flung out of space. Hi, I'm Matt Goldberg. I'm the managing editor for Collider.com. And my favorite film of 2015 is Spotlight. It shows that journalists, like all of us, are participants in a system. While there's certainly evil in the world, Spotlight is more of an examination of the shades of gray and the evil we either ignore or overlook because it's inconvenient. But if we're persistent, patient and smart, then maybe we can do some good. It's a movie that breaks my heart and yet gives me hope in some odd way. We've got two stories here. A story about degenerate clergy and a story about a bunch of lawyers turning child abuse into a cottage industry. Which story do you want us to write? Because we're writing one of them. I'm going to wrap things up with my favorite movie of 2015, Mad Max Fury Road. I had never seen a single Mad Max film and had little to no interest in Fury Road going into my first screening, but now I am completely obsessed. The characters, the script, the effects, the score, it's all incredible and comes together so insanely well. It's a good thing this movie didn't come out back when I was a kid because I probably would have spent a good portion of my childhood dreaming of growing up and becoming the ultimate female road warrior. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you dug this video, be sure to click the subscribe button so you can keep up with everything we've got going down here on Collider in 2016. Happy New Year, everyone.